Alvaro del Portillo was St. Jose Maria Escrivá's most trusted collaborator. Eventually, he became his successor as the head of Opus Dei. While studying engineering in Madrid in 1935, Alvaro del Portillo met Jose Maria Escrivá. Shortly after, he joined Opus Dei. At the time, Catholics in Spain were persecuted, and Alvaro was even wounded while teaching catechism in one of Madrid's poorest neighborhoods. In 1944, he became a priest, and the following year, St. Jose Maria entrusted him with the task of traveling to Rome to seek the official approval of Opus Dei by the Vatican, and that's when the Eternal City became his second home. Throughout the years, he met different popes in Rome. He worked in the Vatican Curia and with the Second Vatican Council. His loyalty to the Church led him to attentively follow the directives of Pope Paul VI and John Paul II. He even established lasting friendships with both of them before and after they were elected pontiffs. Antes de salir de Roma, hace ocho días, le dijimos al Papa que salíamos de viaje y que íbamos a estar aquí en Australia y después íbamos a estar en otros sitios. El Papa dijo que era un viaje que daba mucha importancia y, y que a todas las personas que viese yo les daba, les diese yo de parte del Papa su bendición. Y con la bendición del Papa tres cosas añadió, su recuerdo, su afecto y su oración. He extended the presence of Opus Dei to 20 additional countries, constantly highlighting the sanctity of the family and the universal call to holiness through one's daily work. In Africa and America, he launched several programs including social, educational and health care initiatives. Among them is the Moncole Hospital in Kinshasa, Congo and the biomedical campus in Rome. But most of all, he encouraged people to develop a friendship with God and to be a living example of their Christian faith. Hijo mío, que te vean con esa sonrisa que tienes ahora. Y que te vean alegre, te vean contento. Y la gente que te rodea, católicos y no católicos, empezarán a decir, ¿por qué estás siempre tan contento? Y el secreto lo sabemos tú y yo. El secreto es que procura ser amigo de Dios. He was also concerned with the formation and education of priests and providing them with both material and spiritual strength. In 1985, he founded a center that would become the Pontifical University of the Holy Cross, which is now attended by priests from all over the world. On March 23, 1994, just hours after his death, Jean Paul II paid tribute to his life by defining him as a, quote, good and loyal man.